everybody, this is Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I have an exciting unboxing for you on this Tuesday, April 12th. This is another Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Yes, it is out. Um, we do not put these sneak peeks out until Diamond Art Club releases their uh, sneak peek of it on their VIP group. So make sure you go and join the VIP face group for Diamond Art Club. I was so excited to get this. Not only is it just in time for spring and Easter, but it is one of my favorite artists on Diamond Art Club. That artist is none other than Susan Winget. Look at this adorable bunny in the flower pot. He or she's looking down at a bird and all of the flowers surrounding it. Is that not perfect? This particular painting, not sure if there are any other sneak peeks uh, coming uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, April 13th. This will release Wednesday, April 13th. So mark your calendar, set your alarms, and check them out when they release this. Normally, midweek releases, there really is no rhyme or reason on time or what have you. You just have to check in and... Um, you know, when they release it, go grab it. But this is another Susan Winget. As uh, a lot of you know that are familiar with Diamond Art Club, Susan Winget has several uh, paintings, that diamond paintings that she has done with Diamond Art Club. So I was so excited to have the opportunity to unbox this for you. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for allowing me this opportunity. Let me talk to you a little bit about this painting. It is a 51 by 71 centimeter. Uh, does have a B's in it and it is a square on the box when you see the blue stripe and obviously the square and it says square diamonds you know it is going to be a square diamond painting kit also uh, some other features of this box on the back it talks about what's in your kit how to diamond paint all of that sort of thing and there's also this is just one of many ways that you can save money when you purchase from Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club does not want you to pay full price for their paintings. This is a QR, it says, scan me, unlock 10% off. So that's one way on your packing slip, there's another way. Um, there are also affiliates for Diamond Art Club. You can certainly use their codes if you are a first time purchaser with Diamond Art Club. So um, there are lots of ways for you to save money. Eureka, I got yet another new toolkit. They have eluded me for a while, but the, the past few sneak peeks, I've gotten the new toolkit. I will talk to you about that in just a moment. Love how Diamond Art Club packs up their paintings. Um, very sturdy, you rarely have an issue with boxes, that sort of thing. I've gotten a couple of beaten up boxes, but not many. Set that over there. What do you get in here, Kara? You get this lovely logbook sticker. I love these for, I actually do have a logbook. I've got to catch up on my logbook. I've, I've been getting behind on logging in paintings, but it does have a small thumbnail of the image, the artist, and uh, the shape of the diamonds and how big the uh, painting is. New toolkit. Diamond Art Club is phasing in these amazing new toolkits. I'm always excited to uh, get one. Their old or original toolkits are just as great and have everything that you need in order to diamond paint. You just get a few extra little sussies in the new toolkit. So let's get in here and see what we got. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I just wanna make sure. Okay. First of all, you do get a bag of baggies if you would like to spa store spare drills or kit up. Not sure if there are enough baggies uh, for you to kit this up with, but you know, once you get several of these, there would definitely be enough baggies for you to do that. Extra sussies include washi tape, and look at this washi tape. It is gold foil and has flowers in it. Again, kind of going with the theme of this uh, diamond painting for spring and for Easter. Oh, I can't wait to see it. This is the third rose cover minder that I have gotten. I have a green one, I have a pink one, and now I have a classic red rose cover minder. Cover minders 
have uh, magnets on the back of them. When you peel your plastic back in your diamond painting, you put the magnet underneath your diamond painting, put the cover minder on top, and it holds your plastic back so it doesn't flip around. You get a sparkly pen with a squishy for diamond painting comfort. You get, um, essentially, these two multi-placers have been the same in every single one of my kits. You get a four-placer and a seven-placer, so you can stick those multi-placers in the end of, uh, the opposite end of your pen. So if you would like to multi-place or place more than one diamond down at a time, you certainly can do that. And I love these because they are thin. Love the thin ones. You also get a cute container of two plates of uh, their famous heart-shaped wax, Diamond Art Club's, uh, you know, that this is one of their signature trademarks is their heart-shaped wax. There is plastic on the top of it. Please be sure to peel the plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. And you get two plates of it, which is more than enough to complete a painting. You will have more wax left over. Okay, this is interesting. The last new tool kit I got, I got the pink ombre tweezers. These are black tweezers. Uh, they are the sharp, stabby kind, so make sure you leave this sheath on. Do not poke your eyeball out. It is branded with Diamond Art Club. Sometimes you get... Um, looks to be white that fades into pink and darker shades of pink, but these are, are black tweezers. The only time you will get tweezers in a Diamond Art Club kit is if it is a square kit, and this is uh, a square kit, meaning it's got square diamonds, and you get this awesome tray with the spark. It's clear with the sparkles in it, and you also get a stopper so that your diamonds don't go anywhere. So that is uh, uh, their new tool kit. Again, their old tool, tool kits are awesome. Um, you just don't get the extra little sussies in here, which I, you know, Diamond Art Club is so great to upgrade and, and do that. So exciting there. Are you ready to see it? I am. Oh, I am ready to see it. All right. Oh, I love Susan Winget stuff so, so much. Okay, that's the bottom. So, and it is a vertical, not horizontal image. Oh, I cannot wait. I love this cute image. No, maybe it is. No. Okay, looks to be vertical, not horizontal. Let me park this under my arm so I can explain some more things to you. This is a pamphlet that comes with every single diamond painting that you purchase. It is a thank you note from Angie, the CEO of Diamond Art Club. Tips and tricks. Here's another coupon code, guys. They're all over the place. Thank you, 10. You can get 10% off an additional purchase from Diamond Art Club, what's included. Also, two QR codes on this panel of the pamphlet. The top one is a QR code to take you to a video to show you how to diamond paint, and the bottom is a QR code to take you to that VIP Facebook group. Join Diamond Art Club's VIP Facebook group. I really recommend it. Also, if you don't have the app, uh, I recommend getting the Diamond Art Club app, and when you get the app, guess what you get? You get another discount uh, to shop with, so it's totally worth it. The app is totally free, and uh, you the first time that you download the app, you do get an additional discount code, step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks. Uh, again, 20% off your first purchase through the app, so that's awesome too. So lots of ways to save. You also get, wow, 54 colors. Oh, this is gonna be so springy and right up my alley. Here is, this is a huge, the whole thing is a sticker. So if you wanna cut out the larger image and stick it somewhere, you can do that. Your start and end date, flower in, uh, bunny in flower pot by Susan Winkett. Oh, I'm so excited I got this one to one box. Um, again, shows you all of um, your information on the painting. 54 colors. There are one, two, three, four ABs in this. I will tell you what an AB is momentarily, but you've got 100, 101, 119, and 131. And the way you can tell what your AB colors on a Diamond Art Club is if the number is under 150. That's a DMC color number is under 150. So uh, you got four of them in this. I'm ready to see it. Oh, this is going to be so adorable. Look. Oh, my gosh. I just love that little 
bunny looking at that bird. <gasps> oh, yeah. Just in time for Easter and springtime. And again, this will be released Wednesday, April 13th. Oh, my gosh. It's adorable. And the little terracotta pot and looks to be a baby bunny. And again, just looking at that bird like, hello, how are you? In speaking about the Diamond Art Club uh, canvases, you do have a schematic on the upper left and lower right. 54 colors. That's a lot of colors. But again, it's a springy kind of kind of uh, painting, so you're going to have a lot of colors. Um, I've never in my life had a problem with the Diamond Art Club canvas. Never, never, never. Very sticky. Marlon, if you can pan them in and show them how clear that drill field is. We always do this every single time, so you know I'm not just blowing sunshine at you. Very clear symbols. This is another one. Uh, the last sneak peek I unboxed, um, I thought I don't need a light pad to do it. And uh, I really don't on this one either because the colors are, are lighter and the symbols are so very clear. Uh, plastic covering. I always say this every once in a while. If you are seeing things that look like rivers and bubbles, it's not. It's just the plastic covering on the canvas. This is a tarpaulin canvas, which helps it to roll back by itself and self-flatten very easily. I went ahead and rolled it back, and you can roll a canvas back uh, that is poured glue or has a clear cover on it. If it has a white cover or the like that might say sun or group, don't do it. You can really ruin your canvas. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I cannot get over the adorableness. Oh, I love Susan Winget and her art. Speaking of Susan Winget and her art, let me tell you a little bit about her. As all of you know that are familiar, she has had several images put out uh, with Diamond Art Club. She graduated from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and she began her business in 1982 in her home, painting small watercolor uh, paintings for a local gift store. Her business basically exploded after that, and she and her husband built her studio behind their home in a pasture uh, so she'd have more room uh, to work, which was great. Her art touches everything from dinnerware, furniture, stationery, and children's books. Uh, and again, she has had several pieces on Diamond Art Club. So that is Susan Winget's story. I like researching the artists that I unbox just to hear a little bit about their story. It makes uh, them a little bit more interesting to people. So let's flip this over and see the drills. Wait, before I do that, let's get into where these ABs go. All right. So we've got your typical AB setup. One is one, two is two, three is three, and four is four. So the ones, I've already seen some ones. The ones are going to be, Marlon, make sure they can see this. The ones are going to be in these leaves, and here and here, all in these leaves looks to be, yep, ones here. There's some ones down here in this greenery. Uh, yep, there are ones up here in this flower. Love these. Looks, uh, these look to be like hydrangeas or peonies. Um, any more ones? Yeah, a little bit of one here. Two is two, which is that blue. Okay, the twos are going to be in this blanket, in this little checked blanket that uh, has these, looks to be daisies. All twos, all in here. There are some twos in the bird's wings. There are twos in the flowers here and in these flowers up here, just sprinkled uh, throughout. Any in the sky? I don't see any in the sky at all. Okay, three is three. Three is that lavender color, and I can tell you these flowers right here, there's all, a whole bunch, actually, of threes in the purple right here. Threes are up here. Maybe it's lavender, I'm not sure, but there are threes dotted throughout here and surrounding. Uh, and four is four. That's that yellow color. So the four is going to accent the, in, the um, inside of these daisies. All in here are fours. I'm sure there are going to be some fours. Yes, fours in these flowers. Here, here, all. This one has a ton of four in it. Uh, don't see any of that one. Any, yep, so down here, there are fours in this flower, in the center of this flower, this flower, and all in, in here. So yeah, you're gonna have a lot of fours. So those are where your ABs go. 
I hope I haven't missed a huge section of ABs like I did in my last video. That was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but I think I pretty much got it all. I don't see any in the bunny or the bird. All right, let's flip this over and get into the drills. You guys know I do on these sneak peeks spend a little bit more time just so you get um, all of uh, the details on these paintings. I know you haven't seen them before, so I want to share everything about them with you. Diamond Art Club does label their drills. So if you, like me, if you store your drills uh, separately than your painting, you have the title of the uh, painting in, uh, or actually on your bag. What I do with this, and this is just kind of a helpful hint. I don't know if it'll help anybody, but I used to take this inventory sheet and put it in with my drills to store them. But the problem now is, and I failed to tell you this, these uh, labels are now pre-cut. And so you can peel them off and put them on your containers when you kit up. So what was happening was when I was rolling this back in with my drills, these stickers were peeling off some of them. So what I do, what happened to my little log book sticker? Oh boy, did it knock on the floor. Oh, here we go. Okay, so what I do is I take my log book sticker and I put the log book sticker in with my drills. I'm a very visual person, so I, I can see the picture and see you know what it is, even though the bag is labeled. And then what I do is I, I know guys, some of you don't do this, and I'm not saying you have to do this, but it's helpful to me. I take these diamond paintings and I hang them on hangers in my craft room closet and I just clip this on the hanger with the painting so that when I am ready to go, all of my stickers have stayed nice and uh, haven't peeled off and I've got my um, labels ready to go for my containers. Just a little helpful hint. All right, let's get into this, shall we? Okay, wow, okay. So we have this, uh, this you know, caramel color of uh, brown. This is 435. Very pretty. You're gonna have a lot of nature colors in this. Obviously the bunny is outside and looking at that bird and you got flowers and stuff. So 3346, a beautiful green. 3325, beautiful blue. 3756, a very, very light sea foamy bluish green. Two bags of 3776, 434. This looks like how I like my coffee. Just that, about that much creamer. Okay, $7.75, you got three bags of it. We're gonna have a lot of blue in this image. $9.37, pretty green, $3.01. You're gonna have a lot of different shades of brown and terracotta for those pots, $4.36, $300. All right, here is our first AB. Kara, what is an AB? You keep mentioning AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a, as you can see, Marlon, can you pan them in so they can see this? It is a special coating put on these drills. Uh, it captures light, it captures color, and just makes them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. And you can really see it on that beautiful blue. That's gonna be gorgeous. 471, two bags of that. 898 brown 935 that looks to be a very very dark green first train all right actually this was a mini train so that's the second train all right here we go 935 437 433 beautiful chocolate brown 741 oh i'm loving these spring colors they're gorgeous 975 334 934, 402, 3855, 739, 310, not much, look at that, not much 310, check that out, wow, 738 with, uh, I think, a straggler from 351 that decided he wanted to have fun with 738, that color, 3328, 131. Here's your next AB, guys. This is the this is a beautiful yellow, and that's what's going to go in the center of those daisies and those flowers. And again, just add a little zing to your painting. 3770, 3854, 3371, dark, dark brown. 
900. I bet that's going to go in those terracotta pots. And 400, which is a oh, pretty brown. All right. Ooh, I picked up the last train by mistake. Let's get into this. All right. 169, a gray. 119. Here is another AB, and that is purple. Can they see that coating, honey? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful coating. This is one of my favorite uh, colors in AB. 413, 161. That is a grayish blue, if you can't see what that is. 100. Here is your next AB. You can see that coating on there. Again, it's just shimmy, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmering all over the place. <laughs> 3864, 720, 550. Gorgeous, vibrant purple. 209, another beautiful purple. 3799. Looks to be a very dark, dark gray. 648, a kind of a taupey grayish color. Uh, 327, another shade of purple. 743, that beautiful yellow. I bet that's going in those daisies. 977, 353, a beautiful peach. 322, a blue. 927, a different shade of gray. Kind of has a little bit of green in it. That's interesting. 938, a brown. 30, oh, 38, 37, gorgeous purple, and 38, 42, another beautiful shade of blue. And those are all of your trains. All right, I'm going to flip this. Oh, I just, it's adorable. I just love it. Marlon, will you take them back over one more time, pan them in? Um, if I did not say this before, there are twos, ABs in the flowers and also in the birds' wings. I'm not sure if I said that, but there's some AB in there, but I just want them to see the whole thing. It is adorable. Guys, be sure if you like this image, this is the perfect image for Easter and for spring. Pick it up tomorrow, Wednesday, April 13th. I know Easter is coming up and you you know, obviously may not get it in time, but um, it would be a perfect thing to work on for spring as well. I just love it. Once again, Diamond Art Club, thank you so much for sending me this image. I love Susan Winget, and uh, when I got the opportunity to do this as a sneak peek, I jumped on it because I love her images. I have gotten the red, white, and blue wagon. Looks to be a 4th of July image. She's got several images on uh, Diamond Art Club, but this one's coming out tomorrow, April 13th, Wednesday. So set an alarm, uh, check their site, uh, and look for your notification. If you do get those notifications when this one comes out tomorrow. Thanks again, Diamond Art Club. Thank you guys, everybody, for uh, being here with me. If you're new to the channel and you like unboxings and you like sneak peeks and you like whipping chats and lives i go live every monday at six o'clock central please consider hitting that subscribe button and for those of you that are back um i love you more than you know and your support of this little channel has um not gone unappreciated or unnoticed i i, I just um the overwhelming support uh has been just it's it's made my heart happy so uh thank you guys if you would consider hitting the like button, that also is a free way that you can support my channel, and I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, I'm going to leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind and love on some bunny today. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. All right, this is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.